find that as I got into the book um, and got into places like chapter 12, mm -hmm. where he was discussing the research he did in your home, uh, Congo, yeah. and there were stories with your family members, it got very personal. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about what that process has been like for you. Um, actually, going to Congo was a blessing mm -hmm. because uh, my husband was able to see firsthand um, and hear from other people the stories I have told him and um, interview them, talk with them, and see how the eyes lit up for this or that. So um, it was very, very good for me, but also good for him. Like we were on the same page, yeah. something like that. Is there a particular story um, involving an acquaintance of your family or member, uh, maybe a member of your family mm -hmm. that has uh, really stuck out to him as he was working on this book? Well, he liked, well, liked the story of my sister being raised from the dead. She was beaten by a snake and uh, for many hours she didn't breathe. So my parents took her to the evangelist home where they prayed for her and after prayer she was able to breathe again. And for him to see Therese standing there um, was just a miracle, yes. Now has, is that story something you had told um, Craig previously to him? Had he heard about it before he came and met your family and heard yes. it firsthand? Yes. Did it take on a new meaning once he met your mother and heard her account of it? For him, yes, because my mom was able to explain. Um, and for him, just seeing the panic of a mother who is um, kind of mourning for her first child and going like, God, what can I do, and so on. Because I couldn't say, I couldn't give all these details, but my mom who was there was able to give him the details for him. And it just took a different meaning, mm -hmm. yeah.